Once every 600 years, a company like Case comes around and they just do things right. They know what we want and they make it. They made our beloved yellow streak filter. Can't go wrong with that. They also make those ND filters that fit right in front of your sensor behind the lens. So if you have an ultra wide bulbous lens that doesn't take filters, you're covered. So when Case reaches out to me, I listen, I'm intrigued and they have some interesting things. Starburst smartphone filters, NDs and otherwise coming to a theater near you. It's not doing anything. What does it do? does nothing. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we got our good old buddy Huawei P40 Pro and I've been waiting for some cinematic type filters. I doubt the starburst is what I'm, every time I see a clear filter, I'm hoping that it has a black pro mist effect. So if you're listening case, make this in a glimmer glass style. Tiffin glimmer glass, go copy it. All you have to do is sprinkle sand on the thing and it looks like that. It's funny, iPhone 13 just comes out and oh, cinematic mode, are you believing this? It's like P40 Pro years ago, bigger sensor, better slow-mo, better everything except color signs. That's a, that's a weird one. Don't go in the shade on that one. So we'll go outside and test these. I got three filters. Two are just NDs, an ND64, which should be the ultimate vlogging friendly motion blur filter. Then we got a 512. We'll try to get some waterfall. There's not a lot of waterfalls around here, but there's some, I imagine. I'll find one. Get that smooth lake look. We'll get it. Photography, you know what I mean? And I'm very curious to see what the Starburst filter does because having something like this, I like the yellow streak one. It could, if it does something like that, you got a winner. You got one on your hands. So my first complaint, already it does have to adhese its way to your camera it's an adhesive strip so i gotta peel that off commit to this being on there forever this is the case case <laughs> for my phone by the way the wood one so that's perfect i haven't been using it so i'll just sacrifice it to the lambs all right we have one shot at this we got one shot Press it like you've never pressed anything in your life. I hit the mic. Hopefully that didn't show up in the shot. I love that it covers all three cameras now. Remember that last filter I reviewed, it was just like on the one lens. We might have a system here. So all these different filters can just snap onto this. Oh, that did not stick. All right, it's in now and it should just Okay, we're good. In my opinion, next time, just make the case magnetic and then we don't need this glue stuff. And then just boom, pop that on there, pop it like a tot. And I'm not sure that would have fit on any other case other than the case designed one. So it needs to be more versatile. Magnets everywhere for everything. All right, let's go outside, put these to the test. Are they worth it? Does Starburst do something fun? Are the NDs? allowing stabilization and motion blur. What the hell was that monkey ass movement? Just leave. So here we are out in nature, just searching for a waterfall. Should be, a, there's a flood warning there. So that's, that's a good sign. So right now we have no starburst filter. If we look at those loser sun highlights, it's a bunch of bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. Well, don't I have a secret in my pocket? star bursting bursting stars is it happening i wish i could see it but it looks like same type of thing as the yellow streak filter there's lines and crosses so is this cinematic now as the tree highlights bless us they disappeared i can see that with the shadows on the ground but they're coming back now. It could have, does it have a black pro mist filter effect? Or is my face just bad? Do I have a bad face? 
I don't mean to alarm you, but the cinema appears to be ours on a smartphone. Oh, wow. It's so stable, too. Oh, wow, that's got to be good for the sensor. I kind of want to try this thing at night with all the sprinkly lights. They're not sprinkly, they're sparkly. Sprinkly lights. Wow. That's a good filter. So let's try the ND64. Wait, first, is it beautifying me in direct sunlight? Am I beautiful? I bet I. So, okay, we tried the ND64 just for a vlog, and then the 512 for the waterfall up ahead, just up ahead there. Now, before we do that, Is that bursting? Is there any bursts coming off this red light? Dimmer than anything the sun's producing right now, but it could be showing up. Are you bursted right now? It's bound to be doing something. It's not a very harsh point of light, so there's no reason it would, but it could. And the cinema's ours. Let's stop. And goodbye rear fender. Apparently those crack. They crack hard. So. Be wary. I just went to go put my hand on this scooter and what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Why are you here? Trying to kill me? Trying to hitch a ride? Oh God, that is the worst thing. Why do you exist? So right now, no ND on. And let me just say, it would be nice if these had a lens cap on them because it's just glass kind of annoying and whenever I take it off I touch it and I got a thumbprint on one of them now so I suck at my job we all knew that okay motion blur is this friendly let's see what happens if it just we're leaving it in auto mode sunglasses on colors did those change are we friendly and how's the stabe happening? I wish I could see the settings. My scooter's being stolen right now, isn't it? I imagine this is a good thing. And it looks cool. It hides all the lenses now, so I can't tell where to look. That's a bitch. That's, that's a problem, but... Cinema? Is it ours or someone else's? It could be working. Is there any vignettes? in the sky anywhere what are you focusing on oh that was cinematic nicely done doesn't seem to be vignetting what's my shutter speed one over 150 wow 100 50 yeah pretty good pretty good sorry for filming you was she juttery or smooth Did that cricket ass apocalypse cricket he's gone so so far, I'm pretty impressed. I just, I would like a magnetic lens cap on there and get rid of the glue. Because that case is now ruined. I could peel that thing off, but then you're screwed. Well, look who just found his waterfall. One of the bigger waterfalls I've ever seen, personally. And I look forward to taking a picture of it. Best picture you've ever seen. So. One of the cool things is that this covers all three lenses, so I should be able to switch to the main sensor one and still be good, better. All right, now we're on the main sensor, basically full frame. You can't even believe the cinema that's hitting you. Background blur, beautiful top overhead lighting, friendly motion blur potential. I think we have a winner here. It's pretty good. I don't know that it'll fit any other phone system, but it probably should. It's just, are you going to put it on your case or the phone? I think you have to put it on your phone, but just, I like to vlog with a case. So know that case for next time. All right, let's throw on the ND512. Do a little vlog test with it for some reason. See what happens to the stabe. And then we take the waterfall picture. The bucket shot. Okay, now we have the ND512. It's not designed for this, but I'm curious to see what kind of shutter blur we're getting. It was looking like we were at 
thirtieth of a shutter. That can't be good. It could be. I prefer it. But is it too much? If we're in direct sun, friendly motion blur. Any color cast yet? And how about the main lens? Because it has a brighter aperture. Is the stable weird? What if we do an angry dad test on the phone? You piece of shit. I told you to get a B plus on your report card. What did you get? A B minus. All right, that concludes that test. Let's take a picture. I don't even know how to do it on the phone, but I'll figure it out. In this first shot of the waterfall, I managed to capture the trail leading to the waterfall, which symbolizes the journey to get here. The water is blurry, letting you know that I'm a photographer and I know what I'm doing. I realized the shot sucked, so I zoomed in and I managed to capture this abstract piece where there's a rock on the left and the water's still blurry. Nothing's actually in focus, but that's what my dreams are like. Here I managed to include some foreground elements, so beautiful that I could hardly even stand it. I actually cried just after taking this photograph. The green leaf in the middle juxtapositioned by the two dying leaves on both sides symbolize that the dreamy water can't sustain all who go near one. I then traveled down to the giant waterfall where I took an eye level shot and managed to capture the giant beauty that I had to gaze up upon. The rock in the foreground shows depth and then the rocks further ahead show trust and then there's another level of rocks up above and then there's actually, if you look closer, there's actually a, a fourth level rock right near the tree line that I managed to capture. I tell you, smartphones don't make it easy. I was lowering the shutter speed. It was like 25 seconds, but nothing else would adjust. And I was like, I couldn't do it. And then actually smartphones make it really easy. And there's like a waterfall mode. And I just did that and it worked, but it also worked without the ND. And there's a spider on my... Wow, what the hell is that? Oh, that? I'm in the wrong ass place. It's a green spider, his ass is up in the air. I don't like that. I don't like the odds of that. So, pretty good filters. They're mostly good in low light. I especially like to use the ND512 for vlogging because nothing bad ever happens and life is good. You can get these filters down below. I doubt there's affiliate links. I don't even think they sell them on Amazon, but thank you for letting me test them out. Get a black pro mist on there with a lens cap, then you might have something. And you might have something hard. So I'm gonna leave. There's a duck. Oh, wow. This, oh God, that spider, get off. Oh, he's just hanging off. Oh, he, oh, they reattached themselves to whatever they were on. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave after I get that duck somehow. There, I got it off. Oh, there's the duck. Oh, there you are. Oh, the cinema was ours. The cinema was ours. Where will you go next? Wow. Oh, I wish I had that starburst filter. Oh god, it's in my bag. Oh, I suck at my job. Oh, do I ever suck.